Okay, hello and welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to JOD Trader Sea Time with me, Dadus and Charles, because today is the uh, 6th of April 2020. So, yep, welcome everyone. Welcome to this uh, Monday's afternoon recorded session. Uh, we're going to have a quick, quick look at the markets, a few of the charts, um, a few of the charts that we looked at this morning as well. So, yep. Uh, but as always, before we continue, before we jump into the charts, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest and we can continue. Okay, also just um, before we jump in, quick mentioning of our GFD YouTube channel, to which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. Um, and of course our GFD Bank website and specifically our GFD research page, which we update on a daily basis. So yep, feel free to visit us here on jfdbank.com and click on the research tab right there, guys. Uh, now, um, also just a quick uh, refresh here of what's happening uh, in terms of the coronavirus. Um, so uh, let me just update this page very quickly. Um, so yep, the, the figure continues to grow, but um, still it's, let's say, not as uh let's say the growth is as slightly has slightly slowed down let's put it this way so a very good indication um, however um, let's not forget that we have seen this happening previously where uh, the growth kind of this uh, the growth of the spread uh, slows down but then the next day it, it picks up again so maybe there's a, uh, a lag of re uh, reports so probably if we get a nice uh, week of, let's say, of slowing down, then maybe it could be a good indication. However, for now, that's the situation, guys. Uh, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying indoors and uh, yep, try to keep your immune system running. Um, now then, let's jump into the charts. Now, the first one I want to touch on here is the German DAX. Um, here, the situation here, um, I talked about this one this morning and basically um, what I was saying that in order for us to aim for higher levels, we needed to see a nice good daily close above the uh, that uh, psychological 10,000 zone. Uh, so we managed to <clears throat> open nicely with, an, uh, with, a, uh, with a gap to the upside. However, the price continues to balance below that psychological uh, 10,000 mark. So it's still, still hanging around here. Um, we're waiting uh, to see what will the index uh, do because for now, Although it it looks quite attractive here for uh, for the upside, however, we need a nice good confirmation daily uh, close of a daily candle uh, before uh, before we could aim for higher levels, and that close should be above that uh, psychological 10,000 zone. So for now, we're not getting that. We're not even seeing a nice break above that territory. So yep, that's why we we remain cautious. Um, in terms of the upside, oh, sorry, the, the downside, the same idea remains as previously discussed. Uh, drop below the 9,140, 41 zone here. That's, that's what we need in order to aim for lower levels. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now here, uh, looking at this picture, uh, you can see that on Friday, the index closed um, not far from that psychological 21,000 zone. Um, and for kind of in a way, it worked out nicely here with this idea of a potential move lower, especially if this downside line holds. Uh, this downside line is drawn here from the high of the 20th of February. Now, you can see that um, still the index uh, remained above this territory here, this 20,530 zone, so uh, roughly around there. Now. I spoke about this one uh, previously, and uh, we need we need to see a nice good drop below this in order to kind of aim for for further declines. However, looking at the cash index right now, and as you understood now by uh, when we looked at the uh, the German DAX, uh, the the Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, cash index is currently on the uh, on a bit of a rise, um, so that it's currently 
balancing around the uh, 21,800 zone. So basically, it's roughly around here, uh, still below this downside line, uh, but very, very close to it. So in a way, in other words, um, in order to aim for uh, for higher levels, well, I mean, we need to see that break here of this uh, this downside line. And previously, I talked about this 23,190 zone, but to be honest, now we can lower this one a little bit, uh, and uh, we could start considering the upside if we get a push above the 22,595 zone, which is the high of the 26th of March. So in a way, in other words, this is the level that we're looking for. Um, we need to see a nice good push above this barrier, and then we could aim for higher levels for now. Um, yes, uh, the cash index is pushing higher, so basically we'll have a nice opening gap here to the upside. However, it remains below this downside line, so that's why, guys, be very careful here still um, and uh, in a way for us to get excited about lower areas what we need here right now is um, well a drop below the uh, below this territory here, uh, somewhere around basically this 20,530, 20, 31 zone. Um, or we could start considering the downside already if we see a drop below the low of last week, which is roughly around the 20,735 zone. So a nice good drop below that cap could increase the chances of a further drift lower. But if this barrier fails, then yes, I mean, further declines could be possible. However, like I said, for now, guys, be very careful. We are near the, uh, we're near that downside line again and uh, let's see how today's day uh, is going to play out um, now then uh, jumping into a few commodities here gold um, so I looked at this one last week and I was telling you guys to keep a close eye on this barrier right here so after we had a nice reversal here uh, from this upside line which worked out perfect I was I was talking about this one because what I was saying that if this area 1575 or the upside line uh, act as a very good area of support and we could see a nice rebound and a push higher however to get comfortable with uh, with further upside we need to see a push above the 1645 level here uh, that's the high of um, the 26th of March and this this way uh, yep higher levels could be met I mean this would would confirm a forthcoming higher high and uh, the next levels to consider could be around the 1680 uh, 81 zone roughly around there that's by marked by the high of the 10th of March or uh, it could end up moving all the way here towards the highest point of March, which is around the 1703 zone. So uh, basically, long story short, guys, for now, um, all eyes are on this barrier. If we get a nice daily close above this territory, then yes, we'll get a little bit more comfortable with uh, targeting higher areas. Um, in terms of the downside, again, uh, probably will take a very very conservative approach here and uh, wait for a um, a drop below this upside line and well I mean given that we have managed to move a little bit more to the right so maybe actually we could start lifting our potential breakout level here uh, which now could become the 1563 territory so we'll keep an eye on this one that's the low of the um, 28th of February so if we um, if we get a drop below this, then yes, uh, we will consider some lower levels for now. Be very careful, guys. Uh, again, like I said, for now, we're at a very interesting spot here. We're more bullish than bearish. Um, however, we need that confirmation break here uh, and ideally a close, at least of a daily candle, or I wouldn't say at least, but a, a close of a daily candle above the uh, 1645 territory. Um, Ripple. Now, here, I've talked about this one the last week and basically uh, Ripple is uh, trying to make its way higher now it's breaking this uh, this key area of um, resistance right now the um, let me just probably lift this a little bit like this <clears throat> so the 0 0.1876 zone so roughly around here that's what it's currently breaking um, the big question here is can it stay above this territory if it can well I mean we could then yes of course aim for higher levels however we still remain very careful and cautious because um, not all is kind of really straightforward here right now because the the move higher is very slow here and in a way all this kind of picture here is um, 
potentially could be forming somewhat of a uh, possible bullish, uh, sorry, uh, the um, uh, rising wedge, which is a, a bearish indication. However, again, we cannot really talk about that yet. It's not an ideal, uh, it's not an ideal kind of uh, formation right now because uh, we do have a few overshoots however if you want to keep this on the chart for now you can but be very careful uh, in case this suddenly starts pushing higher and breaks above this territory here around the 0 0.1990 um, in other words let's keep it like this um, if we get a um, oh, not this one um, if we get a uh, a nice good close of a daily candle above the 0 0.801876 of course this increases the chances of a further move higher however uh, if you're going to keep an eye on this this potential rising wedge pattern, then well, uh, you could only uh, target only up until here somewhere, or even the the kind of the most uh, the 0 0.1990. Again, uh, it's a very uh, right now tricky spot here. Um, it is climbing higher. But uh, probably at this point, we remain careful and cautious because, again, uh, I do understand that some of you might uh, might looking here for a buy um, given the low prices. But to be honest, all this is kind of not really this this pattern here, this move, this move lower, the steep move lower. And then uh, this kind of gradual uh, uprise here is kind of making us worry a little bit. So that's why uh, we are going to, if yes, if it's going to stay above the 0 0.18, uh, 90, sorry, 0 0.1876, then uh, we will aim for the upside, but we'll be very careful here. But if it suddenly closes below this, then uh, still we'll remain neutral uh, because for us, to consider the downside ideally now um, we would like to see a drop given that we have shifted a little bit further uh, we have we would like to see a drop below this uh, this territory right here and let me just quickly put this one on the chart and that's the 0 0.1760 territory so a nice good drop below this could in a way lead towards uh, some further declines here for now uh, we remain cautious maybe even cautiously bullish um, and uh, we'll we'll see how it plays out today near this level um, ADJPY so um, here the situation is quite interesting um, we today well the, basically the, the pair continues to balance in between these two levels the 64.92 on the downside and the uh, roughly the 67.70 on the upside um, we need to see a nice good exit through the one of the highlighted areas before we could uh, consider um, a further let's say directional move uh, for now for now it's like I said it's nowhere um, if even if we if we see a push above the 67.70 territory yes we will aim for some higher levels however let's not forget that we will be still below this downside line taken from the high of the 16th of January and in a way if this line remains intact then any move higher here could be st still seen as a temporary correction before another leg of um, of selling. So, yep, uh, keep your eyes on this one, guys, right now. For now, we are a little bit, uh, uh, let's say, neutral, um, but uh, we are keeping a close eye on one of these highlighted areas. If we get a drop, a nice good drop and a close, at least a daily close below the 64.92 territory, then yes, we will aim for some downside here because as you can see, this level here uh, continues to act as a good area of support. We did get a few overshoots, but when neither of the uh, daily candles managed to close below it. So if we do see a close below this, then yep, we will aim for some lower levels. Um, NZD USD very quickly on this one here. Um, so the situation here is quite interesting as well because after the pair drifted lower and uh, found support here in March and in around 19th of March near the 0 0.5470 and let me just actually double check this uh, level is that correct is that the 0 0.54 uh, 60, 66 area so approximately around there um, after the pair managed to find support here it rebounded and uh, now it's trying to make its way higher uh, at one point the pair did reach this area here it managed to overshoot the uh, the 21 EMA here on the daily chart however it didn't even close above this so um, now it's trying to have another attempt here to make its way higher um, 
all this kind of looks uh, as a potential kind of a lower, a, a higher low, um, and uh, it in a way this could lead towards the upside here. However, uh, we'll remain very careful because we do have this downside line here taken from the high of the 31st of December, and in a way, even if we get a push above the high of the uh, 27th of March here near the 0 0.6069, then uh, yes, we will aim for some upside, but we'll be very careful near this downside line uh, because this move higher could still be seen as part as part of a, a larger correction uh, before another leg of selling um, so again that's the idea here for now um, of course don't get me wrong keep your eyes on the uh, the low of um, the, the low of Friday um, yes that's correct so the low of Friday uh, which is uh, around the 0 0.5844 territory roughly around there but if we get a drop below this then yes this could lead towards a lower levels for now um, it is pushing trying to make its way higher it has uh, the 21 day EMA here to overcome first if it does, uh, then yes, we will aim for some upside. But again, we'll need, we, this is the barrier that we're keeping close eye on, the 0 0.6069. Um, if we get a nice break above this, this would confirm a forthcoming higher high. And uh, yep, this could drift further north. Um, now then, uh, USD CAD. So uh, I've talked about this one this morning. And uh, basically, let me just quickly put this one on the ch uh, this uh, this one here. So uh, this morning, I had the uh, a drawn here a symmetrical triangle. But as you can see, it kind of got the lower side of it got violated. So I got rid of it. And uh, now uh, what I was uh, kind of what I was saying as well this morning uh, that we need to see a breakthrough one of these levels one of these highlighted areas before we could consider a further directional move for now you can see that the pair is moving sideways so it's no use for us uh, unless you're a range trader who prefers such such, such things um, but for, for us right now we uh, yeah we're just gonna remain neutral just continue observing this one and if we eventually do see a breakthrough one of the highlighted areas then yes we will aim for a further directional move for now we're just keeping an eye on this one on the 1.4325 territory here on the upside and the 1.3986 area on the downside and finally your usd so uh this morning i talked about this one and what i was saying that in a way uh given that it managed to rebound here from this 1.0777 territory uh, this one highlighted here it the pair now uh, rebounded this morning and uh, traveled higher, traveled back above the 1.0819 level. But as you can see, this is where the bears quickly stepped in and drag the rate back down towards this 1.0777. So in other words, we, uh, as I've mentioned this morning as well, we need to see a nice good clear drop and maybe at least a four hour, four hour candle close below this territory. And then we could aim for deeper extensions to the downside however for now you can see that it drifted lower tested this area but still remains above this support zone so um, let's see if it actually can break this one if it cannot and if it rebounds again here uh, still there is a bit of hope left for the bears as long as the uh, pair uh, as long as the pair uh, remains below the downside line uh, but if it, this downside line breaks and we see the pair uh, traveling above the 1.0888 territory then yep we will aim for a bit of upside so guys um, for now uh, that's it uh, for this session I hope you found it useful um, the very important thing, of course, is for everybody to stay safe, guys, stay inside, um, uh, try to minimize your exposure to other people. And, uh, yep, I hope you have a fantastic trading evening. If you're still trading, um, if you're not, then, well, um, have everybody have a, a nice uh, a nice, have a nice evening, and I'll yep catch my video tomorrow uh, at my trader, at my trader's uh, espresso um, around after around seven o'clock, uh, sorry six o'clock GMT time. So yeah, guys, uh, like I said, catch my video tomorrow um, around six o'clock GMT time in the morning, um, and then yep we'll pick up on some of these instruments, some new ones, and we'll see what to expect from the market uh, tomorrow. So thank you very much, guys, and have a nice day. Bye bye.